All right, so uh, my last recording session. Uh, let me let me load up the world here a bit. Uh, like if I don't let the world load up a bit and I start to record, it causes problems. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and offload some of our junk here, and by that I mean uh, all of these goodies I have uh, harvested here. And a firm reminder, I do need to get off my butt and actually start getting a ton of item frames. Uh, now that I no longer need, um... Massive amounts of, uh... Leather for books. Uh, all of our leather from the cow farm is just gonna go to, uh... Pretty much just, uh... Well, uh... God, I, I, I had a thought and I lost it. Uh, pretty much all of my le leather is gonna go to item frames. And I am somewhat stocked back up on... Well, that. Not that it really matters all that much. Um, I, I'm still good on iron. I, I don't think there will ever be a point in time where I'm, like, completely out of iron blocks for a while. And, oh yeah, I, Like, this is why I need item frames, so I can just completely reorganize everything. Alright, um... Yeah, you know what? Uh, I think what I'll end up doing is I will end up uh, going through here and like putting these lanterns down at some point. Like, I'll leave these here as like a reminder of things I need to do. So, uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to... I want to spend some time exploring some of the caves over here in the desert. Because I, I... What? the heck are you doing in my house? Sir. What is this? Podzel. Dripstone. You know what? Never mind. I, I am just gonna ignore you and you'll, you'll go away eventually, right? And what is biting my neck? Ow. I didn't feel anything there. I must it must just be like a nerve or something. That that's irritated. But uh let's uh deposit this slime block uh slime ball here. Alright, um... Ah, there's a, there's a bucket of water. Alright, uh, let's, let's, uh, go get ourselves some torches, why don't we? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I need to, uh, do something real quick. So there's that guy there, and I get myself 12 books. We have the journeyman, and he gives the flame enchantment, and ooh, a squid farm wouldn't actually be so bad. Uh, and one more time. 
that ought to push him right over the edge to uh, expert. All right. So uh, let's uh, break down the rest of these bookshelves. And... All right, that brings me up to 12. Okay, so one mending book and one flame book. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's go with mending. Oh wait, no, I don't I don't even have enough uh things for that. Oh no. Oh, that sucks for me. Oh, well. Oh, I do have more books, but I, I, let, let's go ahead and uh, wait on that. So, there is a large, like, cave system over in the... Uh, Red Sand Desert. And I don't have any, um... Torches or anything. And I do... Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have torches. Okay. So we will go ahead and grab ourselves some more uh, potatoes... Uh, I, I know I have, like, a baked potato chest somewhere. Ah, here it is. Like, this way I only have to, like, harvest baked potatoes, like, every once in a while. Because, uh, the amount of potatoes I have, um, it takes, like, an hour to harvest all of these crops. And I really don't want to do that. <laughs> like, I want to figure out a way to automate automate harvesting but uh, I also uh, don't have like a villager breeding setup going and I really don't have time this month to get that done because I, I I'm trying to get ahead on some of the papers I'm writing and if I do that it's gonna take a lot of time uh, more time than building that. Because <laughs> I, I, I need to, like, set up an entirely separate area away from here to breed villagers. And I do not have the time for that. Which is kind of a problem. And I know this area over here is a thing. And I know there's, like, a ton of, like, cave systems here that I'm just gonna have to, like run through and clear them all out because this area is just so massive that uh, I'm going to have to harvest it all and probably plow it over uh, just for like the terracotta for future projects so this is what we're gonna be exploring today this underground cave system Notably, it has something I don't have a lot of, and that's gold. Uh, these biomes produce a lot of gold. So I figured I'd come over here, get a ton of gold, and explore a new cave system. Uh, take a break from the uh, one we've already explored. And oh, hey, uh, that's a uh, lush biome. Um, oh, nope. That is a uh, lush cave biome. Which reminds me, I need to figure out how to set up a glowberry farm. Yet again, reminded of, like, 
things on my to-do list that I still haven't done yet. <laughs> oh, and there's a cave underneath there. Alright, let's, uh, go ahead and grab all this good stuff here. But, uh, trying to get ahead on my recording for this week... Um, like, I have, I have, like, one for tomorrow recorded. I'm recording this on Friday, so I have Saturdays, uh, recorded, and this should be going up on Sunday. Um, gonna need to record more, uh, because I would like to, like, get, get to a point where I don't have to worry about, uh, assignments for the rest of the semester and work ahead on more classes. Because uh, the sooner I start student teaching, the sooner I can start looking to for an actual, like, teaching position. And gosh darn it, this again. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this one of those, uh, oh. Yeah, this is one of those things, okay. Well, there goes some of my torches. Or not. So I will just continue bashing my head against this metaphorical wall. But, yeah, there is that. Uh, oh, there's some gold I missed. Uh, we are going gold mining today, it seems. And that reminds me, I'm going to have to, like, post early tomorrow, uh, at the time of recording this. Uh, not right now. <laughs> not when this is going up, and, oh no. Well, I'm, I'm not getting that gold back. But, uh, I just want this, uh... Okay, this is- this is one of those massive gold veins, isn't it? Yeah, this is one of those massive gold veins. Well... Leave the water here so I can get- get down easily. Yet again, I am once more reminded I need to, like, get a bow, because I swore I saw a mob walk off there. And let's grab this copper that I really need, because uh, uh, we're going to start burning through my copper supply here soon. Because uh, I, I like using co copper, and I'm going to be using copper as part of my flooring for the uh, ravine. Uh, bone meal factory that I'm gonna get going down there. So, uh, for the ravine, uh, down, uh, where I, uh, primarily, uh, do most of my strip mining, uh, and what's gonna end up being my slime farm, um, my plan is actually rather simple. Uh, I simply plan on 
making a ton of like bone meal farms because uh, a lot of the uh, farms I want, a lot of the like primary farms I want to build are above ground. But I need a lot of slime. And I have this like massive area underneath my like entire base that is just perfect and asking to be mined out. Problem is, is well, I have to mine it out, and that's a slow process. That's like a, that's a multi-week process. And that's not happening overnight. Because, uh, I, I'm pretty much spending this, like, year of, like, 2022 here, uh, getting set up on my Minecraft world to do all sorts of amazing things. When I know some people can, like, get things done in, like, a week. Uh, but... Then again, like, I'm not, like, boom, instant progress. Um, that's not how I do things here. But, uh, we are getting the coal I need. Uh, I do need coal, because, uh, I, w I want to incorporate all sorts of different blocks in the, uh bone meal production area that I'm going to be setting up. Because I, I don't think I'll need, like, the amount of cactus I have. And that's clay. What is clay doing down here? Uh, you know what? We will harvest that in a moment here. As soon as I finish getting this coal that I need to, uh... Raise some of the EXP we're getting. Alright, let's, uh, fill that in with light. Make sure everything's, like, properly lit up and whatnot. Like, it, it's best if I have, like, l some light going here. And we're gonna use the charcoal I already have in my, in my possession to make torches. Because, uh, if you're gonna light things up, uh, you might as well use charcoal. Uh, if you're, if you're using torches like I am right now. As, like, cheap as it sounds, like, I'm just fully invested in, like, saving as much as I can on, like, things I mine. And the reason I have, like, the tote of... Totem of Undying, even though I really don't need it. Um, it's really just kind of like to flex that I survived a raid. Because uh, I've done that, and I'm not a fan of raids. And oh hey, Glowberry Vine. That I just like absolutely shreked. I am so sorry. And we will get this, like, massive pile of clay in a moment here. Uh, I'd rather turn clay into, uh, bricks. Because, uh, I can use bricks for things. But, uh, with terracotta, uh, terracotta is a very readily available resource for me. Uh, clay, not so much. So we will, uh, get all of this clay here. And I know for a fact it will fill up my inventory. But that's what it is. That's just how it is, folks. Alright, uh, let's uh, condense all of these into uh, clay blocks. Like, I like how the cave systems actually feel like actual cave systems. Uh, mainly because of the fact that they are, like, really cutouts like this. Like, it's, it's kind of, they're, they, they're kind of set up like how water would flow. 
uh, after a couple a, a couple thousand years. Like imagine if if erosion was a thing in Minecraft. Uh, that that'd be that'd be a that'd be a fun concept. Like every every couple thousand days, if you build something out of stone, you might need to replace things. Yeah, that'd be a fun concept. It'd suck if you were on a server though, because it it'd be on all the time. And it, it, it caused some structural issues, but it is what it is. It'd be a fun mod, but I, I don't think players would appreciate erosion being a thing. Cool concept, though. And I am getting more gold than I've had in a while. So if you want gold, you gotta come to the, uh, uh, Mesa and Desert Biomes. And why, hello there, sir. And, ooh, more iron. Alright, uh, that pretty much clears out this section of the, uh, cave. Well, here I am. And I have gone... out of my way here to get lost. Or not. Okay. more over here and there's lots of moss blocks why hello uh, I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to make a moss based uh... farm uh, but we're gonna go back up to the surface and I'm going to offload some of my stuff before I go deeper. We will continue up more of this, uh, the following day. Because we are not going to be done here for a bit. But I, I, I felt this was an appropriate, uh, place to stop. And did I, for, did I really forget about that hole on the side of the, uh, mountain there? Yes, yes I did. Gosh darn it. This is why I can't have nice things. Ah. Uh, oh well. Or did I already light it up though? That That's a good question. Did I light this up? No. Okay, this leads to an entirely different cave system. Oh. Oh no. And, oh, there's Endermen. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, eliminate these guys, like, one at a time. Alright, which does more damage? Nine. There we go. Okay, that's one. But it didn't drop, uh what I needed. So we're gonna go ahead and go after this guy here. Okay, that's one ender pearl. Let's move. And that creeper spawned literally in front of me. Okay. Into the field of light. Which is convenient. Uh, which is coincidentally just littered with torches and lanterns everywhere. Okay, so that's one more Ender Pearl down. Uh, I still need like 15 more. And there's a Drown that decided to follow me. Okay. 
fair game. And because I wasn't over here, none of this uh, actually cooked. Alright. Um, right, let's uh, chuck this in here. And let's, uh, let's run over and uh, sleep real quick. And like a firm reminder, I actually need to put a lightning rod down somewhere. In order to, you know, not have like a ton of trees get set on fire. Oh, and uh, let's uh, put these away. Toss that dirt into a chest. Uh, we're actually going to convert all of this clay into... Uh, Like things other than clay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's go ahead and deposit all of this coal here. I mean, charcoal. And go ahead and deposit that in there. All right, so, uh, copper. And yet again, those guys with the uh, the guy with the alpaca is still like loitering around my house. I will never be able to get rid of them. All right, so um, here is where things are gonna get annoying. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Okay, uh, change of plans. We need to set up like a lightning rod. Uh. Um, okay. Break you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Um, this destroyed, like, a good chunk of our area here. Like, I'm glad I noticed that when I was, like, over here. Otherwise, I'd be really upset. And, okay. So, as far as, like, the damage goes, it's superficial. Uh, none of our pumpkins were hurt. And most of this can just be, like, utterly, utterly just filled in here real quick. Like, it, it's not a big deal. But uh, we need to essentially get off my butt and make a lightning rod. So let's fix this up here. And do that. <laughs> 